Hey guys! So, this is actually not a Vlogmas, even though I am still on Vlogmas day 22. I just posted that today. And I think it's like the 29th. What is it? It is the 30th of December. So, I just wanted to talk to you guys about kind of what happened with Vlogmas and like kind of where I failed with that and also just kind of give you like a little update because the point for me of doing Vlogmas isn't really just to like, you know, post 30 or 25 vlogs. For me, it's a really, really, really fun way to interact with my viewers. I tend to get a lot more interaction than just doing a weekly vlog because I'm able to like kind of address what happened in the comment section for like the day before in my vlogs if I'm doing daily vlogs, which is why I love doing them so much. But this year with all of my traveling, I think it started off with one day. It was when Callie came to LA. Like I had no plans. I was like, okay, well at least I can do my vlogmas and I can like pack, but it ended up being like I didn't pack at all. We just really didn't do anything. We were just enjoying each other's companies and we ate Uber Eats and then we went to Elliot's birthday. But that actually threw me off so that I was a day late every single day. And just being one day late, it was really hard for me to keep up um, because it takes like probably two to three hours per vlog or more like I always underestimate the amount of time that it takes to edit a vlog and then after a while I started to get more and more behind a because once I lose that interaction it's kind of I lose motivation to post every day because when I'm posting every day it was like oh I can't wait to like see what people are saying and then like kind of uh, base my response off of that like today this will be right after I posted my Vlogmas Day 22. I've already gotten so many responses to my discussion on like my GPA and talking about graduate school. And it's just so much more fun to like be interactive and have that daily interaction with you guys. So that's kind of the first reason why I failed at Vlogmas. And then the second reason was just I was, I had good internet or good enough internet to post every day in Seoul and Tokyo. But then when I got to Thailand, which you guys haven't even seen any footage from there yet, I think we were there for two full days and then like four nights or three, yeah. Does that make sense? I don't know. You guys haven't seen any of that footage, but the internet was horrendous in Thailand, or at least at the hotel that we were staying at. It was awful, so I wouldn't really be able to post anyways unless I had given myself the amount of time that it took to upload, which was about four hours, three to four hours for each vlog. So that's just kind of an explanation on why I really failed at Vlogmas this year. I'm not sad or mad that I am doing it. It's not just posting them for other people to see. It's really me posting them so that I can also have these memories later on. I love watching my vlogs over again. It's just a really reflective way to see what was going on in my life and how I was feeling, what I looked like even. It's really funny because all throughout my vlogs, I think the three years that I've been doing them, my eyebrows always change the most on my face. It's really funny. And sometimes I'm like, wow, I should really... Oh, it's just Callie. Sometimes I'm like, wow, I really want to go back to those eyebrows. <laughs> but <laughs> other times I'm just like, wow, that's horrendous. But that's pretty much what's going on with Vlogmas and why that kind of failed. But right now we're actually in Singapore. And this is our last stop in Asia before we go home. And Callie really wanted to come to Singapore, which is why we're here. And poor Callie ate the food on the airplane and she's been puking ever since. And she just got up. You probably haven't eaten in like 24 hours, have you? Mm -hmm. I also wanted to talk to you guys about um, something else that's very exciting that I would definitely be attending if I weren't abroad. And that is the Ralph's tailgate for the Rose Bowl. Basically, I am not a huge fan of football. Um, wait, so why, why is the Rose Bowl so important to USC and What? Why is the Rose Bowl so, such a big deal? Because USC sucked at the beginning of the year, now they're in a bowl game because it just was fantastic how they turned it around. Yeah, all I remember at the beginning of the year was that like everyone was really disappointed in the football. That could be a metaphor for life, turn it around. And then, then it could be a metaphor for USC. Yes. What is it? Keep, fight on. Ne never give up. Fight on. That's well, our fight on. motto. 
But um, we're all the <laughs> Literally, my favorite thing about the entire football season is the tailgates. And it's not even like the tailgates that USC like frats have because those are really intense for an introvert. I like the tailgates that I've been attending and talking and vlogging about lately. Um, I'll be sure to link the Ralph's tailgate vlog, but my friends over at Ralph's told me that there'd be another tailgate and invited me to go, but I won't be able to make it, so I just wanted to make sure to tell you guys about it. Basically, I've talked to you guys about it before, but um, you can go to Ralph's and get... It's kind of like a scavenger hunt. You have to get the certain items that are like tailgate items. We found the rules. When you purchase $25 of participating items. Where they at? Where they at? Found the clues. These are all things that we can get. Okay. <laughs> Cook zero sprite. Dark oh, you have a fly on you. It's <laughs> <laughs> disgusting. This is like my childhood dream. It reminds me of childhood. A favorite snack. The grooves. Original. So it's like a lot of chips, sodas. Barbecue like charcoal meat if you're into that and then like you buy it? Yeah, you buy So what you're doing in order to get your ticket admission you buy all these things that are on like that are like selected items or participating items like tailgate items and you buy $25 worth of tailgate items and then in exchange you get that like that's your ticket like on your receipt It'll show like one free admission to the Ralph's tailgate But then at the tailgate like I'm not even kidding This is so worth it because first of all at the tailgate. It's Amazing if you're 21 they have like endless bottomless beer and wine um, So it's like a true USC tailgate. They also have um, Amazing food oh, This looks so good oh. Thank you Oh, thank you <laughs> This is where I'm coming. Thank you. This is crazy. This is crazy. Oh, there's one. Oh, they even have chocolate. <laughs> Wait, look at it, Jacob. Perfect. All right. This looks we good. We have somebody else over here. What do you say? What is her name? I now? want one. I don't have any hands. <laughs> Thank you. It's all food that you can buy at Ralph's. But that's like the highlight of my tailgate experience because like for me, I a lot of like USC tailgates, you just like go tailgate and like get really drunk. And I don't really not into that too much so this is like the best of both worlds because you can drink there if you want but you can also just eat all the food and there are free drinks other than like alcoholic beverages so i basically just wanted to tell you guys if you guys go to usc or are going to the rose bowl game the ralph's tailgate is still going on so definitely if you're interested in that go check that out i would be there but i'm just not going to be in state i think i get back on that day um, but I'm definitely gonna go to the next one for next year. That's basically just like a little update on our trip and on the Ralph's tailgate. I think it's called the Ralph's Ultimate Tailgate. So, um, if you guys are curious and you guys want to see what it's about, I will link that in the description box below. So, that's pretty much it. We're gonna go to the Gardens by the Bay now. Callie's gonna not throw up anymore, hopefully. Oh, can I get some crackers? Are those the salty ones? Like the sweet salty ones? I love like Asian crackers. Um, yeah, so that's it. I hope you guys are still enjoying Vlogmas. Let me know if you want to see the rest of the Vlogmases anyways, even though they're super late. It's literally going to be the 30th. It's the 30th. Um, if you guys want to see them, like this video. And I will talk to you guys tomorrow with the Vlogmas. Bye.